Hey guys, Dr. Holly here and I am on tip number four, bringing you tip number four on how to stop the quarantine 15. And tip number four is one of my favorites. It's something we talk a lot about in State of Slim. It's find a super friend. And if you're a State of Slimmer, if you're in our family, you probably know what a super friend is, but I'm gonna spend just a couple minutes and tell you in case you've forgotten or in case you don't know. A super friend is not necessarily your best friend. Uh, a super friend is a special type of friend. It's a friend that doesn't just tell you what you want to hear, that this is a friend that can actually tell you what you need to hear in a situation. And like I said, not everybody can be a super friend. They, these are really kind of special people in our lives. Um, like I said, they're people that you go to them and you talk to them, and yes, they can make you feel better and r rationalize what you're doing, but they don't stop there. They go on and tell you what you need to hear, even when it's a little bit uncomfortable, right? A lot of times that's not what we want to hear, but a super friend can tell us that, can really push us forward. And the key with the super friend, and one of the things I always say is it always comes from a, a good place. A super friend is telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, because they want what's best for you. It's coming from the heart. You know, a super friend, I always say, has a lot of empathy. They empathize, they, can, they, they, they feel what's going on with you, but they don't have sympathy. They are able to take that empathy and say, okay, what do you need to hear in this situation? And it's such a great skill to be able to develop and be able to have and to be able to find in people because it pushes us forward. It really is a person or a friend that can not only just let us stay in, it doesn't really let us stay in that victim mindset that we get into, oh my gosh, I couldn't exercise. There was no way I could exercise. Or, you know what, I ate the whole pie or the whole cake or all my quarantine snacks are gone and I ate them in one sitting. And it's not that a super friend gets mad at you for that, but the super friend isn't gonna just sit there and say, ha ah, ha I get it, me too, uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay, but they take it to that next level and they say, okay, what are we gonna do about it? How can you make sure that doesn't happen again? Right? They, they're able to problem solve with you. They're able to move you forward. And a lot of friends aren't able to do that. All they can really do is say it's okay, right? Or rational, help you rationalize. And the reason why I think sometimes it's hard to be a super friend and it's hard even to accept super friend advice is we want that, right? We are going to our friends because we want them to say, I would have done the exact same thing. There's no way you could have done anything you know, different. And a super friend, can have that empathy, but can take it to that next level, can empower you, just doesn't allow you to sit back there and rationalize and really get stuck in a victim mentality. It's not about beating yourself up. The super friend is really a special at being able to see that and seeing what you need to be able to move forward. Not necessarily what you want to hear in that moment. So many times it's not what you want to hear, but it's what you need to hear to move forward. It's what you need to hear to stop the quarantine 15. So one of my challenges for everybody this, this, uh, this next week is to find a super friend. I think it's one of the ways to stop this quarantine 15. Find someone that you can touch base with every day or every other day and really talk about it from a standpoint of being a super friend. Say, what's going on? What am I doing well? What am I, what could I do better? And really look at it from this kind of lens of empowerment and telling people what they need to hear, not necessarily what they want to hear. One thing that I want you to think about is usually you're either a better receiver of super friend knowledge or super friend advice or you're better at giving it. You tend to be better at one and not as good at the other. And so I would also challenge you to think about that. Be aware. Are you good at giving super friend advice or is that really difficult for you? You need to work on that, how you can actually empower people in situations, but it's always coming from the very best place in your heart. It's coming because you want them to do well for no other reason, right? You want them to do well and you want them to keep their promises and you want them to not gain 15 pounds. You want them whatever goal they've set to achieve it. And then sometimes you may not um, be good at receiving it. So be aware when someone tries to help you, when someone says, okay, like I said, you ate all your quarantine snacks. Well, what can we do, do to make sure that doesn't happen again? You know, how will you do things differently next time? What are you learning from this situation? Sometimes in that moment, like, I don't want to hear that. That is not what I want to hear. I want you to say, yes, I would have done the same thing. There's nothing you could have done. And you know, you know, there's no, there's no other, no other outcome that could have happened. 
A super friend won't do that. But sometimes it's hard to receive that information. So I want each and every one of you to think about, are you better at giving it? Are you better at receiving it? And be open to learning and becoming better at the opposite. So the tip, find a super friend. Find one maybe who has a similar goal, either around maintaining a weight loss, um, maintaining the current weight, or maybe it's a goal of being active. Whatever you're struggling with, find a super friend who can help you and uh, put them into play, right? And be a good super friend. So that's tip number four, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.